What's up everyone, this is Trying to Kill Toys back with another review and this time taking a look at another long awaited figure. And this is of course the Final Fantasy VII Bring Arts Barrett from the original Final Fantasy VII models or character designs of the original game from 97 I think or 98. I think it's 97. But anyways, this is based on that original design, not the stupid remakes. Yes, I said stupid remakes because the remakes are pretty bad and they ruin the original story. If you like the remakes, you're freaking degenerate. Anyway, I don't want to spend too much time doing this review. A lot of people spend like way too much time doing reviews. There's a cloud review that's like 30 freaking minutes or 25 minutes. That's insane. What are you spending all that time talking about? You're just wasting my time. Uh, one more thing I want to mention is it sucks that this is the only figure I have from the FF7 Bring Arts line so far and all of them on pre-order but so far this is the only one that I've managed to ship to me so that's pretty lame that he's going to be by himself for a while until I get Cloud and Tifa and Aerith and all the other ones but I wish I would have had at least Cloud and Tifa to accompany Barrett but we got Barrett for now but we'll see how good this figure is because uh, I'm interested to see how good these figures actually are we'll take a quick look at the box I do have to point out though it is a nice box usually something that Square Enix gets right with the Play Arts Kai and the Bring Arts figures they have some nice looking boxes, uh, nice looking pictures of the figures, a lot of writing that I can't read, and just a clean looking box. Not much to it, but I do like the, you know, the front of the boxes are really nice, so that's always cool. So it's always nice when a figure has a nice box. So in terms of accessories, like I mentioned earlier, not much. Kind of paying a lot for getting very little, especially if you're paying domestic prices. He just comes with a fist, which was on the figure out of the package, swapped it out for his open hand. And one thing I have to point out is that I had to heat it up to put it on. Just be aware of that so you don't break the wrist joint. And also one thing that really bothers me is they have to put in the stupid stand. And it's the same problem with their Play Arts Kai figures. If you've seen my Play Arts Kai reviews on the Final Fantasy VII figures, you know that I have a problem with these stands. It doesn't work. So this is really dumb, like it doesn't even fit doesn't really fit around his body. Okay, so I guess if you jam it in between his back joints, it does work. But other than that, it's not going around his waist. He's got big enough boots that he can stand pretty well on his own. Uh, and then it does come with two parts. And they're, from what I can tell, they're both pretty much the same. Maybe it's just in case you break one of them. Anyway, let's take a look at the actual figure. So the sculpt is very nice. It is a very faithful recreation of the original design which is the style that I prefer when it comes to the FF7 characters. Not really a big fan of the remakes. The remakes, the, the designs are fine. It's just how they ruin the story and how the game plays out. They ruin some of the characters and especially with the new one that's out, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, they just further that even more, adding in stupid scenes and stuff like that. I don't want to rant too much about that. If you want to know more, you can ask me in the comments and I'll let you know. Let's get back to the figure. So, head sculpt is really nice. I really like how that turned out the beard and everything the paint the fade on the back of the head really good even has like a real chain i think it's plastic but it's a pretty good imitation of a real chain you got the dog tags the jacket you got shading on the arms also have shading original tattoo much better than the remake version that they had you got a little bit of chest hair he's got his metal uh metal waist wrap his gun is the actual original design. The remake one is pretty cool, but you know, this is it. This is the one. Also does rotate, which is very cool. Belt, some shells on the side here. He's got his uh, army green pants, which is very cool. Some writing on the back of his leg there. Boots, again, very nice. They did add like some, like an extra layer of leather on some parts of the boot, which also does look pretty nice on the bottom. He does have the treads of his boot so we can stomp on the enemy this metal band right here on his wrist also very well done it's got some texture and detail on it and the same amount of texture and detail and paint work on his fist which is also very good so overall this figure looks awesome like i really like how they recreated that original design again i prefer those designs so it's really nice to see that they did a good job in bringing it to action figure form now in terms of articulation uh the head movement is basically like a ball joint you can get some tilt it's kind of like a figma joint so you don't really get that much tilt unless you rotate the joint inside so we can look up to look at the sector 7 plate falling down shoulder joints very good it does have like a ball joint in there so you can't get some extra motion out of that 
and of course swivel all the way around and you have the sleeve of the jacket which also rotates with it or you can rotate it independently that's up to you okay his elbow joint not the first time that it's done that it doesn't really peg in very deep so if they could have made that a little bit deeper, maybe added like a second notch to the joint to really get a good grip in there. And I'm not really a big fan of how they cut the bicep joint right here. It does swivel, it just looks kind of ugly when you're rotating it. Single elbow, and it does rotate as well so you can get, you know, this kind of motion. It's covering his face. And there goes his elbow again. Wrist joint, pretty standard, swivel, and then does hinge in and out. So there's like a ball joint going into the wrist, so you get some motion out of that, and then you get this like standard uh, play arts Kai joint. And then when you put the hand on, you think it's not in, but because it should go further, but it doesn't. So it like right now it's in, but it feels like it should go in deeper. That's just how the joint is set up. Uh, then a waist articulation, bend forward that much, bend back. He does have two joints. It looks like bends back that much and then side to side pretty good amount so and of course swivel his legs kick up that high they go out that far there's a swivel there and there's some swivel at the ball joint up here so you can rotate it up there rotate it at the thigh swivel single knee joint and no rotation in the knee joint so don't even try to rotate it also, the way the knee is set up, not the best way to cut up the joint, but I think it does look a little bit better than it would if it was a double. This part up here is an extra piece, which you can rotate. Another type of player, it's Kai joint. Hinges up and down, and then you can rotate it to get like an ankle rocker type of thing. And then toe hinge, which actually works pretty well, especially when you're doing crouching poses. That's really cool. So in terms of comparisons, don't really have that much to compare it to in terms of other Final Fantasy figures. Like I said, this is the only Bring Arts figure I have, but I do have the Play Arts Kai remake figures. And yes, I do have the Final Fantasy VII remake figures. I know I said that I don't like the remake, but I did like the designs. Let me know which design is your favorite. Definitely, I take the original over the remake any day. What I have a problem with is in the remake and the rebirth, they ruin the story and they ruin some of the characters by adding in stupid stuff to pander to the fans and try to attract players to the game. And then I guess for whatever reason, here's Player Sky Cloud next to Bring Arts Barrett. All right, and then comparison with some other figures, here it is next to some other random figures that I have. G.I. Joe Classified Storm Shadow. Here's SH Fig Arts Kabimaru. Fig Arts Gojo. That's his dad. Here's a Marvel Legends Iron Man. Here he is next to another figure that has the same skin color. And last but not least, here's Roadblock from G.I. Joe. So that's it for comparisons. Like I said before, it is kind of sad that he doesn't have any of his friends to hang out with, but you know, eventually they'll show up. But in the meantime, he's gonna get cooking lessons from Chef Roadblock. So that's it for the review. You guys let me know what you think about this figure, if you have it, if you're getting it. What do you think about the other Bring Arts Final Fantasy VII figures? Let me know everything that you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, follow me on Instagram at TrendKillToys. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.